Slam that like button if you love cookies. I love cookies. I'll slam the like button. Mmm, delicious. Ah! I'm gonna be late for school. And I actually did my homework, so I want credit for it, you know? <laughs> Where's my math book? Where's my math book? Oh, I can't find my math book! Okay, um, maybe I left it in the chair. No, where was I studying last night? Think, Molly, think. Oh, wait, I had to go to the bathroom. Maybe it's in the toilet. Math book! Are you down there? <laughs> Just kidding. Although sometimes I'd like to um, flush all of my school books down the toilet. No, it's not on the desk. Wait, what's that on the table? I think it's my math book! Yup, it, it sure is. I'm just gonna pick it up, put it in my backpack, and away I go. Molly, hurry up! The bus is here! Coming! Good morning, everyone! It's good to see you here. Especially you, Molly. You're actually on time. <laughs> yeah, and I did my homework. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh! What'd you do with Molly? Who are you? <laughs> Guys, today, mathlete tryouts are happening. I know all you mathletes would be amazing at that. Yeah, uh, more work and homework. Uh, I don't know about that. Hey, Molly. <laughs> it's good to see you. Uh, uh, I sat next to you. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah, I see you sat next to me. S sitting in that chair is, is nice. Oh, really? Why? Um, uh... Uh, is it because I, I'm sitting next to you? No, 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 that's not why. <laughs> it's because you're sitting under the heat duct, and so you stay nice and toasty. Oh, <laughs> I see. Okay, class, please take out your math books. We're going to go over lesson number three. Math book, math book, math book. Wait, here it is. O-M-G. I accidentally brought my diary. Oh, my gosh. Talks all about my crush in it. Okay, I'll just put it back in my backpack and tell the teacher I forgot my math book. Did Molly just say that she brought her diary to school? <laughs> I bet there's some awesome secrets in there she doesn't want anyone to know. And that's exactly why I have to read it. <laughs> when her back's turned, I'll steal it right from her backpack. Mrs. Stevens, I forgot my math book. I'm sorry, I... I, I brought the wrong book with me, but I did my homework. It's okay, Molly. Do I have to have detention? No, you don't have to have detention. Really? I finally managed to not get detention. I'm super proud of myself right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Molly has a crush on Luke? <laughs> this is perfect. Dear Luke, meet me in the auditorium after school. Love, Molly. <laughs> Dear Molly, meet me in the auditorium after school. Love, Luke. Perfect. <laughs> I'm going to prank her so good. <laughs> hey, Molly, you could share math books with me if you want. Really? Wow. Uh, Thanks, Luke. No problem. Okay, class. You guys can head off to English. I don't want you to be late. Yeah, that would be a tragedy. <laughs> Are you even paying attention? Hello? <sighs> Is she sleeping? Huh? What? Huh? Wake up. Huh? What? What'd I miss? Pretty much all of English class. Here, Luke wanted me to give you this letter. Really? Yeah, he said it's pretty urgent. Okay, thanks. No problem. Don't say I never did anything for you. Wow, a letter from Luke? I wonder what it says. Dear Molly, please meet me in the auditorium after school. Love, Luke. O-M-G. I think he's going to ask me to the school dance. Best day of my life. Okay, everyone. Class is dismissed. Wow, it's the end of the day. <laughs> Guess I need to meet Luke in the auditorium. Oh, my God, there's Luke. I'm kind of nervous. He makes me feel like really shy because I really have a crush on him. Hey, Molly. Oh, hi, Luke. Hey, um, so, uh, you wanted to meet me here? Wait, what? No, you wanted to meet me here. Uh, no, Molly. Um, <laughs> I got your letter. <laughs> I didn't write you a letter. You wrote me a letter. No, you wrote me a letter. Sarah gave it to me. Attention, Molly and Luke. What is going on? This is Sarah, and I want you to know that 
<laughs> I read your diary, Molly. <gasps> what? <laughs> That's right. I'm going to read you guys a little bit of what Molly said. No, Luke, cover your ears. You don't want to hear this. What? Why? And why'd you write me that letter and now you're saying you didn't? I didn't write you the letter. I'm guessing that Sarah wrote you a letter from me. And then she wrote me a letter from you. Why would she do that? Oh, I can only take a guess. Okay, here you go. Dear Diary, Luke is so cute. Huh? You wrote this, Molly? No, I, I don't know what you're talking about. This is really Molly, Diary. It's not Daisy or baby Kira. I really like Luke. He's cute. He's adorable. He's smart. He is like an amazing football player. Love, Molly. Oh my gosh! I'm humiliated! <laughs> By the way, losers, I have locked you into the school for 24 hours. <laughs> have fun! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm mortified! I'm so embarrassed! I can't believe she stole my diary and read it out loud! Hey, Molly! Ah! What are you doing here? This is the girl's bathroom! Well, no one else is around, and, 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 and you ran away before I could even say anything! Wow, the girl's bathroom is much bigger than the boys. O-M-G! Get out of here! Um, wait, I just want to tell you something. I... I like you too. Wait, what? You do? Yup, I do. I think you're cute, and amazing, and smart, and funny, even if you don't do your homework. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, and I'm kind of glad that I'm stuck in the school with you for 24 hours. We can have, like, a first date. This is a date? Yup, if you want it to be, that is. I totally do. Aww. Maybe we should go to the cafeteria and, well, eat pizza. I love that idea! <laughs> Let's eat all the pizza so that they don't have any for lunch tomorrow and they'll be like, where's all the pizza? And we can secretly laugh inside because we'll know the answer and they won't. Wow, complex, Luke. Okay, let's do it. I always thought you were kind of simple, but no, seems you have a whole plot line going here. Ooh, this pizza's delicious. Mm, it totally is. Molly, I hope that we can be the best of friends. Me too, Luke. Mm, this is really good. So, um, what do you want to do now? Uh, eat more pizza. <laughs> Duh. Molly, I never knew somebody that liked pizza as much as you. Well, if we're going to eat it all so all the students wonder where it goes tomorrow, you better get eating, Luke. Um, yeah, I'm full already. <laughs> I can totally eat more pizza than you. <laughs> hey, want to go to the gym and play some basketball? Sounds like a great idea, except for I just ate all that pizza. I'll probably throw up. Nah, it'll be fun. Come on. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. I forgot where the gym was for a minute. <laughs> now that pizza went to my brain. Okay. Let's see if I'm better at basketball than Luke. Um, you probably are. I'm really good at football, though. I'm not really great at football. Whoa, good shot, Luke. I'm having so much fun right now. Me too. Um, Luke, um, we didn't think about something. What's that, Molly? Where are we gonna sleep? Um, well... Ugh. Well, I don't feel so good. Why? Oh, no. You ate too much pizza and then you jumped around playing basketball. Uh-oh. I don't want to throw up on our first date. That would ruin everything, wouldn't it? Um, you better run to the boys' bathroom. <laughs> I'll set up a sleeping area. Good idea, Molly. We definitely have to sleep here till the morning. Wait a minute. No students allowed. <gasps> Perfect! Yes! In the janitor's room, there's a bunk bed. I'll let Luke choose if he wants top bunk or bottom bunk. Are you feeling better, Luke? A little. I don't know why I ate all that pizza. <laughs> <laughs> um, Luke, I was wondering, um, are you having fun on our date? I'm having a great time on our date. Yep. Well, I want to show you something. Uh, I'm not looking forward to sleeping on the bleachers. No, no, no. Look what I found in the janitor's room. Bunk beds! Do you want the top bunk or the bottom bunk, Luke? I'll take the bottom. Okay. Ugh, ugh, ugh. 
This ladder is kind of broken. I can't climb up the ladder. Uh, uh, uh. Here, Molly, I'll take the top bunk. Are you sure, Luke? Well, if I can climb up the ladder, sure. Well, Molly, this was a great first date. I agree, but you know we're probably going to get detention tomorrow for being locked inside the school. But it wasn't our fault. We'll just tell them Sarah did it. Yeah, if they believe me. I'm always getting detention. Plus, we ate all the pizza for school tomorrow. Yeah, we might get detention about that. But at least we'll be in detention together. And, uh, Molly? Yeah, Luke? Would you like to go to the school dance with me on Friday? Um, uh, uh... It's okay if you don't want to. I would love to! Great. This 24 hours stuck in the school with you has been the best 24 hours of my life. Ditto, Luke. Ditto. Starbucks before school in the morning. How else could I make it through the entire school day? Speaking of school days, this school day I'm actually excited about. I know, that's crazy, right? I'm never excited about going to school, but today I am because this weekend's the school dance. And I just know that Luke is gonna ask me. Today's gonna be the most amazing day because he's gonna say, Molly, will you go to the dance with me? And I'm gonna say, of course, Luke, because we're in love and we're going to get married. Okay, I probably won't say that. I'll probably just say, yeah, I'll go to the dance with you. And I'll leave the marriage stuff for, you know, after high school. Good morning, Molly. Whoa, you're not even late today. I know, right? It's going to be a beautiful day at school. Uh, okay. What have you done with my sister? Are you an alien? A monster? <laughs> no, I'm just excited about the school dance. I am too, Molly. I wonder if someone will ask me. I don't know, but Luke's definitely gonna ask me. Oh, hi, Luke. Oh, having your Starbucks, I see, Molly. Yeah, are you eating a burger for breakfast? Yeah, it was leftover from last night. I was too lazy to make anything else. <laughs> hey, a burger works for me. Whatever you want. So, uh, Luke, you, you got something to ask somebody? I sure do. And here she comes now. Hey, Sarah, um... I wanted to, to, uh... What are you saying, Luke? I mean, are you gonna spit it out or am I gonna stand here all day? What are you asking her, Luke? Um, uh... Will you, um, go to the dance with me? dance with me. What? Were you talking to Sarah or somebody else? Excuse me, is this your special moment? Because you keep butting in like it is. I think I just got asked to the dance, so why are you here? Oh, um, uh... So, Sarah, w will you go to the dance with me? Of course I will. What? No! No, this can't be happening! No! Oh, <laughs> Luke was supposed to ask me to the dance! My entire life is ruined. Luke is my is my best friend, but also uh, <laughs> I have the biggest crush on him, and now he's gonna take Sarah to the dance. <laughs> Molly, Molly, are you? Oh, there you are, Molly. Oh, Molly, I'm so sorry. You're so sad. My life is over. Oh, Molly, there's plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I can't take a fish to the to the school dance. What are you even talking about? No, that's just what they say. Like, there's lots of boys. I don't I don't want any other boy to take me to the dance. I just wanted Luke to. Well, Molly, I'm sorry, but he's taking Sarah. Thanks, Captain Obvious. I already know that. I know what I could do. I could cast a spell. Make Sarah disappear. I mean, temporarily, just until the school dance is over. Wait, what? You can't do that, Molly. That's a horrible idea. You're going to make her disappear? She'll miss class. And then she might get detention. You mean she doesn't get to go with Luke to the dance and she gets detention? Perfect. Molly, come back here. Don't you dare cast a spell. Molly, this is a bad idea. What are you doing, Molly? You missed all of class. Um, <laughs> I was just prepping to do this. To do what? Wait, wait, what's that book and that wand for? Oh, you just wait and see, Sarah. You just wait and see. 
Alakazam! Alakazir! I'm gonna make Sarah disappear! What? What's happening? What's happening? Sarah? Sarah? Oh my gosh! My spell! It, 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 it worked! like a witch, don't I? This is perfect. Now Luke will ask me to the dance! <laughs> hey Molly, have you, uh, seen Sarah? Oh, <laughs> yeah, but she disappeared. Wait, what? Yeah, like permanently, she's gone. Well, at least till after the dance. Wait, wh why'd she disappear? What are you talking about? Um, uh, uh, she got snow vid and she's sick, she can't come. Oh, man. I was gonna take her to the dance. I was really excited. You didn't have to be that excited. I mean, she wasn't that special. Um, okay, Molly. Are you okay today? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, well, I'm just asking because you seem like, well, a little grumpy. Do you have to fart? No, I don't have to fart. Okay, yeah, maybe I did a little. Yeah, see, don't you feel better, Molly? No! Oh my gosh, I have to get to my next class before I'm late. Hey, Brittany, you want to go to the dance? Oh, Luke, I thought you were taking Sarah, but oh my gosh, I can't believe you chose me. Of course I'll go to the dance with you. Wait, what? Now you're going to take her? Yeah, she's super cool. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, she doesn't even know what one plus one is. But she's super nice. Ugh. Molly, are you okay? Okay, she's running towards the bathroom. She must have to go poo-poo or something. Daisy! Molly, what are you doing in here? I'm just washing my hands so I can get ready for lunch. Daisy! I have to eliminate all girls on the planet! What are you talking about? Make them disappear. Goodbye, completely. He asked another girl to the dance after I made Sarah disappear. Molly, I think it's a bad idea that you're making all girls disappear. What about me? Well, it's only for a little bit. I have to, Daisy. I have to. Molly, are you okay? I will be. I will be. Alakazam! Alakazir! Let's make all the girls disappear! Ha 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 ha! Whoa, Sky went all funny for a minute there. Uh, does that mean it worked? I'm not really sure. I guess if I go back to the school and I see any girls, I'll know that my spell failed. And I don't see any girls. Jiminy Cricket! My spell actually worked! Hey Molly, what's up? Oh, hey Sam, uh, not much, just having a better day all of a sudden. That's good, Molly. Oh, look, there's another boy. Hey Molly. Oh, hey Aiden. Wow, there really are no girls here. Perfect! Whoa, there's Luke. Molly, have you heard the news? It seems like all the girls in the entire school have disappeared. They must have all got snowed or something. Oh, wow. So, um, you can't take Sarah to the dance. You can't take Brittany to the dance. No, I can't take any girls to the dance. Wait, what? No, no, you can't. Either there's, there's a girl left. Oh, uh, well, I guess I didn't really even want to go to the dance. It's sort of a girl thing. I mean, I like to dance, but I can dance at home. And sometimes I even make videos for TikTok. Want to see one? Um, uh, not really. So, who are you going to take to the dance? Nobody. If I go, I guess I'm just gonna go alone. I mean, there's no girls to ask. What are you talking about there's no girls to ask? There's lots of girls to ask! Well, I mean, not lots, but th there's one! Really? Where? I don't... I don't see a girl anywhere. Me! I'm a girl! Oh, yeah! I forgot you were a girl! <laughs> You're just like my best buddy, my best friend. I just think of you as, like, I don't know, not, not really a, a girl. Well, I am a girl! That's it. This spell didn't work. I gotta go talk to my sister, Daisy. I'm feeling so sad. Daisy, are you still in the bathroom? Wait, maybe she was having lunch. She said she was gonna have lunch. Daisy? Wait a minute. There, there's no Daisy because I disappeared all the girls in Brookhaven. So, so, Daisy's a girl and now I don't have my sister. I have to reverse this spell. I have to reverse it. Okay, I can do this. I mean, I'm not really good at reversal spells. They usually go wrong, but, but, but I think I can do it. I hope I can do it. I need my sister back. I need to talk to her. I'm having a really bad day. Alakazam! Alakazun! My last spell. Be undone! Did it work? Did, did it 
it work? Molly, there you are. Hi. <laughs> I'm so in love with you. Will you go to the school dance with me? Wait, what? I've been thinking about you all day and my heart just breaks when I'm not near you. Oh, Molly, you're my girlfriend. I am? No, she's my girlfriend. No, she's not. She's my girlfriend. Okay, I'm neither of your girlfriends. She's my girlfriend. No, she's mine. Uh-oh. This reversal spell didn't seem to work. Uh-oh. Gotta go. Gotta go to the bathroom. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh, finally. Oh, Molly. This is a girl's bathroom. Because I'm in love with you. Oh, you're stinky. I know, that's why you're not supposed to be in here. I don't care, because my love for you is true. Ah! Get out of the girl's bathroom. Oh my gosh, where can I hide? I'm so embarrassed right now. He saw me fart. Oh, that is so embarrassing. I know how to make myself feel better. I just need a slice of pizza. That makes the everything in the world so much better. Mm. That's good pizza. Hey, you like pizza? So don't I. Huh, what? Oh, I can't believe it. You're gonna be my girlfriend. Wait, no I'm not. What are you talking about? Yeah, <laughs> we are. We're gonna go to the dance together and we, we love, both love pizza. Why wouldn't we go to the dance together and be boyfriend and girlfriend? Oh my gosh! The school has gone completely crazy! Daisy! Did my spell bring all the girls back? Molly, what's going on? Daisy! Oh my gosh, I'm so glad to see you. What do you mean you're so happy to see me? It's during the school day, of course I'm here. Oh, Daisy, I made a huge mistake! What are you talking about, Molly? What's going on? Well, it all started when... Alakazam! Alakazun! My last spell. Be undone! Did it work? Did it work? Boom, 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 boom. Let me get this straight for a second. You, you, you did a reversal spell? So what was the spell to begin with? Um, well, you don't remember this, I guess, but I, I made it so that all the girls would disappear so Luke would ask me to the dance. And it didn't work, and I needed to talk to you, and so, um, here we are, and, uh... When I reverse the spell, now all the boys are in love with, well, me. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. So you did a spell to make me and all the other girls disappear so you wouldn't have any competition for Luke? Correct. And then when it didn't work, you wanted me back? Correct. So you did a reversal spell? Correct. And it backfired and now all the boys at school are in love with you? Also correct. Molly! You should stop doing spells! Obviously, you're terrible at that! Um, uh, uh, exactly my point. Now what are we gonna do? I can't wait to take a selfie with my new girlfriend. New girlfriend? What's he talking about? Oh, no. He means me. Oh, Molly, when you're making that angry face, you're so beautiful! What? No, I'm not! I look ugly right now! Uh, Molly, I think he loves you no matter what because you put a spell on him. Well, I didn't mean to. It was just sort of a backfire spell, but whoopsie. Um, I'm really sorry, Jack, but we can't we can't be boyfriend girlfriend. Wait, what? What'd you just say to me? Um, we can't be boyfriend girlfriend. Then I I'm gonna have such a broken heart that I'm gonna need to explode all the broken even. <laughs> uh, Daisy, there's only one thing to do. Run, Molly. Are these boys gonna follow us home? I don't know, I hope not. Meet me at my science lab. We'll try to fix this. Good plan. Molly, go to the dance with me and I'll give you a loan. Do you work at the bank even? Of course I do. <laughs> I'm a mortgage lender, you could have a brand new house. No, I don't need a new house. But I wanna take you to the dance. <sighs> oh my gosh, that was so far to run, Daisy. How'd you beat me? Because I didn't have an entire town of boys chasing me, that's how. I can't believe what a mess you've made of everything, Molly. <sighs> I know, I don't do my homework, I sleep in past my alarm so I miss the school bus, I set bad spells, and then when I reverse them, the whole world explodes. Pretty much, Molly. But according to my calculations, I should be able to reverse everything well without too many mistakes. See, so you don't know how to do it either. 
Yes, I do. I'm just trying to unravel your giant mess. Molly, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Oh, Luke, the world's gone crazy out there. Yeah, crazy for you, Molly, because you're just so special and and I, 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 I'm tongue-tied around you. Wait, what? I thought you didn't want to take me to the dance. No, I, I'm in love with you. You, you are? Molly, that's just the spell talking. No, I think it's really Luke. Molly, you know it's not. I didn't want to take you to the dance before you backfired spell. Oh, who cares? Who cares about a spell or a wrong spell or a right spell? You've put a spell on my heart, Molly, and I'm going to love you forever. Oh, <laughs> well, um, okay. Uh, Daisy, we're not going to reverse the spell. What do you mean we're not going to reverse the spell? Molly, snap out of it. I can't. I'm too busy gazing into Luke's beautiful eyes. Molly, he doesn't really love you. It's just a spell. It'll never be true love. You'll be living a lie. I don't care, Dizzy. I'm gonna go to the school dance with Luke, and I'll do anything to do it. So you only want Luke to take you to the school dance because he's under a spell, not because he actually likes you? I don't even know you anymore, Molly. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but... <sighs> Luke, I can't go to the school dance with you. What? No! My heart! It's broken! Oh! <laughs> I didn't do this, Molly. This is all you're doing. Now, the spell is going to be reversed. All I have to do is say these simple words and program it into my computer, of course. Alakazam! Alakazoom! My sister's spells are done by a noob! Really? That's the spell? Yes, Molly, that's the spell. Luke? Luke, are you okay? I feel kind of weird. Oh, this has been a very long day. Do you need a glass of water? Uh, I'll get you one. Don't hate me, please. Hate you? No, I don't hate you, but why'd you cast a spell on everybody? My brain hurts. Um, well, this is embarrassing and don't hate me! I already said I'm not gonna hate you. What's going on, Molly? Oh, look, I could get a job as a scientist. This would be awesome. Daisy, no one cares about your job search. Sorry, I'm just saying I'm overqualified. Uh, Luke, so do you hate me? No, Molly. But you cast a spell on me and everyone else in town. That wasn't very nice. It's because I wanted to go to the dance with you and you kept asking everyone else. My heart was breaking. Oh, Molly, this spell made me realize something. Do you hate me? No, how many times do I have to say it? I don't hate you. I actually really like you. Like, I think I might be in love with you. Say what? I didn't see that one coming. Neither did I, Molly. Neither did I. Uh, I was wondering, um, do you want to be my girlfriend? Really? Or is this still the spell? No, according to my calculations, Molly, um, the spell was broken. Daisy, you're on a shopping website. I know, but I checked before I got on you. Look at these pants. Aren't they cute? Daisy! I already did my job, Molly. Uh, so, Molly, what do you say? Will you, will you be my girlfriend? Um, uh... Of course I will, Luke. This is like the best day ever. Wait a minute. Does being your girlfriend mean you're still taking Sarah or Brittany to the dance? No, silly. <laughs> it means I'm taking you to the dance. Yahoo! Then my answer is yes. Oh my gosh, my sister has a boyfriend. Luke, you're the cutest boy in the whole school. The cutest boy! Huh? What? What? Huh? Oh my gosh! I have to wake up because today is the first day of being boyfriend and girlfriend at school with Luke! I can't wait to announce it to everyone. But first, I have to get dressed. What should I wear? What should I wear? What should I wear? I have to look so cute today. Oh, look at these jeans. They have little hearts on them. That's kind of perfect because... My heart is so full of for Luke. Let's see, does this match? Oh yeah, I look adorable. I look styling. I look ready to announce that I'm Luke's girlfriend. Molly, why are you awake before 6.30? Are you crazy right now? Who are you even? Because obviously you're not Molly getting out of bed this early. 
Nope, I'm definitely your sister. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Oh, Molly, why are you jumping at me? You cray cray. Today is the first day of being boyfriend and girlfriend at school, of course. So that's why I'm super excited. And I have to get up. Okay. Yeah. I'll be up in a minute, Molly. Ugh. At least you're not excited. It's pizza day. Wait, it's pizza day too? Molly guacamole! This day couldn't get any better! Oh, hey, Luke. Oh, hey, Sarah. Um, sorry that I changed my mind about taking you to the school dance, but Molly's my girlfriend now and- Wait, what? I thought I heard this really weird rumor that she was your girlfriend, but I can't believe it's actually true. Your boyfriend, girlfriend with Molly? Ugh, she's not even popular. I know, but she's my best friend and we get along and we both love pizza and Roblox and um, we both laugh when she farts. I mean, it's just a match made in heaven. Oh, you know she only wants to be with you because you're popular, right? So she can be popular too. Wait, what? There's my boyfriend, Luke. <laughs> and he's talking to Sarah? Oh no, he's gonna dump me for her. Oh my gosh! I knew he wasn't over her! I knew he'd want to take her to the school dance! <laughs> my heart's broken! Molly? Molly! Molly, I can't come into the girls' bathroom! Come on, I'll get detention if I go in there! Come out, tell me what's wrong! My life is over! I thought Luke loved me! <laughs> he'd rather take Sarah to the dance! <laughs> oh, there's Daisy! Daisy, 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 Daisy! What? I just got in the door. What is it? It's Molly. She's super upset. She ran into the girl's bathroom and I can't go in the girl's bathroom, but you can, so we have to talk to her. Why is she super upset, Luke? Because it's all my fault. I was talking to Sarah and she saw us. Oh, don't tell me now you're taking Sarah to the dance again. No, Molly's my girlfriend. I'm taking Molly. Sarah just was trying to fill my head with nonsense, but I know she's a liar. Well, that's good. But why is Molly upset? I already said, because she saw me with her and, and, and she thinks I'm gonna dump her or something. Oh, I get it now. Yeah, you're totally in trouble now. Will you talk to Molly, please? Ah, <sighs> okay, I'll go talk to her. As long as I'm not late for math class, I have a very important test today. Thank you, Daisy. Thank you so much. My life is over. Molly? Oh, go away, Daisy. I don't even want to talk to you right now. Molly, we need to talk. We're sisters. It's what we're here for. I thought we just fought all the time. Isn't that what you're here for? And to annoy me. No, Molly. Not to annoy you. Uh, to be an amazing sister who listens to you. Besides, I have a message from Luke. I don't want to hear it. Don't even tell me it. It's going to be bad. It's going to say, I dump you, Molly. Actually, quite the opposite. He's worried about you, Molly. He is? Yeah. He doesn't want to dump you. He, he knows Sarah's full of it. Really? Yeah, you know Sarah. Talk, talk, talk. And all that comes out is garbage. Yeah, she really is rude and mean and sort of a bully, right? Most of the time, that's right. But he still loves you, Molly. And he still wants to take you to the dance and be boyfriend, girlfriend. Molly, you finally came out of the girls' bathroom. I brought your favorite pizza. Oh, Luke, you're the sweetest. Molly, I'm going to love you forever. Someday I'll probably marry you. Probably? What do you mean probably? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh boy. I just, I keep messing this up today. Oh, being your boyfriend's kind of hard work. Well, get used to it. It's almost time for lunch and that means Luke's going to pick me up. We're having Starbucks together. I think he's the sweetest. Hey Molly, are you ready to go to lunch? Uh, yeah, I'll be right there. I just have to log out from work. So, uh, Molly, um, I'm gonna need you to buy a really pretty white dress from your job. Wait, what? Why? Those are like $500 here. I can't afford that and rent. Well, uh, well, uh, I'm kind of nervous to ask you this, Molly, but, um, oh. you're gonna need the dress if you want to marry me. Say what? Please! Molly, I'm so in love with you. Marry me! Marry me! Oh my goodness, Luke! Of course I'll marry you! I've been waiting for this day since... Well, we were boyfriend-girlfriend ten years ago. I know. Yay! She's gonna marry me! She's gonna marry me! Are you gonna sing to me at our wedding? Maybe. Would you like that? Uh, no. Well, at least my new bride is going to be honest. <laughs> I can't believe
believe it's your wedding day. I know, but I'm just a little nervous because the wedding was supposed to start, well, right now, and Luke's still not here. You know Luke. He's always ten minutes late. He's been that way since you guys dated in high school. But this is his wedding day. Well, I still get paid whether he shows up or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to get paid. He's not going to show up. We're not going to get married. Molly, he's going to show up. Don't you worry. Oh, my gosh. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late for my own wedding. Oh. Whoa. Molly, you look beautiful. See, I told you he'd show up, Molly. Luke, you look so handsome. I'm sorry I'm late. <laughs> you know me. Yep, always ten minutes late. You'll be ten minutes late to your own funeral. Okay, can we get on with this ceremony? I do have a funeral next, and I gotta get moving. I think the dead person won't mind if you're a little late. It's not like they're going anywhere. <laughs> oh, Marty, always the comedian. Okay, this is gonna be the fast version. Luke, do you take Molly to be your wife? I do. Molly, do you take Luke to be your husband? I do! Forever, never, 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 never! Even when you're ten minutes late! Oh no, she's gonna sing. Then I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Oh wow, Molly, I can't believe it! We're married! Da 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 And now for the honeymoon! Where are we going? We're gonna go over to Brookhaven Lake! Seriously? That's all we're going to? Yeah, is, is that not good? Oh, it'll be perfect, Luke. I thought we were going to Hawaii, but, you know, you can start off our marriage with a little bit of disappointment. Seriously, Molly? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But you gotta walk since it, I didn't want to go there. Molly! You're running my car into the wall! Oh, Molly, why are you trying to rub me over? Okay, this might not work out. You may need to get a divorce. Are you serious? No, I'm just kidding, but I really don't want to walk there. Too bad! I was expecting Hawaii! You are smart, you are kind, well, I mean, other than to Daisy. <laughs> and you love burritos. You're amazing, Molly. I always say nice things to myself in the mirror in the morning, just so I remember that I am actually, uh, well... As cool as they get. <laughs> okay, let's see. We need this. Okay. Do we need eggs? Yeah, we'll need eggs. We'll need bread. Mom, why are you freaking out right now? I can tell that you're like really stressed out. Because, Molly, there's a huge storm coming to Brookhaven and, and I need to make sure that we're totally prepared. I was prepared because this morning I said positive affirmations to myself in the mirror. I was wise. I was kind. I liked burritos. Oh, those are all very true about you, Molly. <sighs> Maybe Kira has a fever. How am I going to get to the store before the storm gets here and deal with baby Kira while she's sick? I've got to go up and get her out of her crib. I don't know what to do. Mom, don't worry. I can go to the store. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, look, the weather doesn't even look that bad. Molly, the sky is green. We are going to get a huge storm. I can't believe it. The storm calculations I had were correct. OMG, I'm going to be an amazing scientist one day. <gasps> or a meteorologist. Nah, I don't really want to tell the weather because that's not very accurate. Until I create something that's more accurate than any scientist has ever created. Okay, Daisy, whatever you say. Okay, Molly, we'll just hurry back from Target, okay? I, I, I don't want you to get stuck in the middle of this storm. Oh, I'm coming, baby Kira. I'm coming. See you later, Daisy, and your weird weather machine. I didn't make the weather like this. At least I don't think I did. Dun, 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 dun. Did Daisy's weather machine make the weather this way? <gasps> does it just tell the weather? Oh, Molly, you're being so dramatic. You better get to Target before this storm gets here. According to my calculations, you have one hour. I'm on my way. Be back soon with Oreos. Holy guacamole, Target is so busy. OMG, everybody's...
just gonna buy the milk and eggs. That's what they always do in a storm. Oh, look at a lot of the shelves are actually empty. My mom's gonna be so upset if I can't get these supplies. All right, everything's gonna be fine. Hey, did you guys steal all the shopping? Give me a shopping cart. Oh my God, I just need a shopping cart. I need a shopping cart. All right, I'm gonna look for a, a, a spare shopping cart around here. So my mom gave me a huge list and... Hey, what are you pushing me around for? Oh, sorry, I'm just a huge fan, and and I just wanted to say hi to you. Well, hi, but right now I just I need to get a shopping cart because hey, oh, there's some outside. All right, good. Because I have this huge list my mom sent me here with. Okay, it won't let me grab a cart. What? Is this like all these? You have to put a quarter in or something? All right, guys. Literally, I cannot grab a cart. I cannot buy. Oh wait, here it is. I was freaking out because Daisy said I only had an hour until the storm came, and like literally, I'm freaking out that I'm not gonna get home before this giant storm hits, and then I'm gonna be like in super big trouble. All right, lemonade, none. All right, there is some um, Dr. Black's Blacksy Cola, so I'll get some of that. And um, let's see. Oh, there's some chips. All right, the soup is actually in stock. There is tomato soup. Look at all these empty carts, though, because everybody knows that this storm is coming. So they're just buying everything, they're not leaving anything left. Oh, there's some berry pie. I guess we're going to survive off of tomato soup and strawberry and berry pie. That's just going to have to be it. Oh, somebody, somebody peed on the floor right there. Gross. <laughs> la, 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 la. What else? Oh, a face mask. I could definitely just have some relaxed time when I'm in the middle of the storm. Stay focused, Molly. Stay focused. <laughs> la la la. Molly! <laughs> Luke! Hey! What are you doing here? Oh, my mom sent me to the store because this big storm and we're all out of eggs. Well, good luck. This store has hardly anything in it. And it's the only target for like 50 miles. Yeah, my mom said the news said we're going to get this storm in like less than an hour. I know. It's kind of crazy, right? Yeah, maybe I'll just come with you and we can see if there's like some eggs hiding in one of the coolers in the back. Sounds good to me, Luke. Come on, let's go. <coughs> so, Luke, how are you um, doing in school? Um, fine. Do you want to talk about something else besides school? You hate school. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just was trying to think of something to talk about. Yeah, that's it. So, would your mom settle for some berry pie? Because it looks like that's all there is. Seriously? Oh, man. She's going to be so upset that we don't have any eggs for French toast during this storm. I know. Wait, look, where'd you go? Um, down here. Let's go into the staff only access. Maybe we can find some eggs in there. Ooh! I like how you think. <laughs> Seems to be locked. Let's go see if we can find a key. Two seconds later. We looked everywhere on the first floor, Molly, and we didn't find the key. Oh, it's no use. My mom's going to be so mad. I can't get the eggs. Well, maybe they're on the second floor, the key to, to get into the authorized area. I'm sure that they have some eggs in there. They're just holding out so that no one else can get them, Luke. And, and, and... And what? The, the, the managers are going to take all the eggs home? <gasps> yeah, probably. Oh, what's wrong with this elevator? The door won't close. I don't know. They always say don't ride an elevator when there's a storm coming, but you know, whatever. Oh, the door closed. We'll be fine, see? Okay, but you just said we shouldn't ride it if if there's a storm. Nah, everything's gonna be- <laughs> Oh my god, why is the elevator shaking like that? I don't know. Oh, oh my god, I, I think I'm gonna throw up. Me too! Oh, this is terrible! Oh. Yeah, I, I think it's okay. Open the door. The door won't open. Oh my god, we're stuck in here. Ah! I don't ah! like being stuck in elevators. Ah! Molly, try not to freak out. At least we're here together. <gasps> yeah, you're right about that. Being alone stuck in an elevator would be much scarier. One eternity later. Huh, Luke, it's been forever. We're never getting out of here. Did you bring your cell phone? Um, oopsie. Ow! Yeah. Mine's dead in my car. I was charging it. I, I I can't even call for help. Maybe one of these buttons here will work. Okay, 
okay, the emergency call button is just going. Uh, that's not good. I think we might be stuck in this elevator for life. Me too. Ah, freaking out again! Freaking out again! Freaking out again! <laughs> I want my mommy. <laughs> um, Molly. What? I need my mommy. The door opened. OMG, we're out! I can breathe fresh air. Uh, uh. Hey, wait a minute. Where are all the other shoppers? They're probably just downstairs. I mean, the storm must have been so bad to shut down the elevators. Yeah, you're probably right. Uh, let's go see. So wait, the escalator works, but the elevator doesn't? I don't know, Molly. This storm is making everything really weird. Whoa, Luke. Everybody has left Target. That's because they knew the storm was coming, Molly, and we were stuck in that elevator for a really long time. OMG! Everything that's left is ours! Uh, Molly, I've got some bad news. What? What is it? The door to Target, it won't open. <laughs> the storm has damaged it. We're stuck inside Target? Yeah, but at least we're stuck together. Oh, um... Yeah, I never thought about it that way. Looks like we're going to be stuck in here for the night together until the storm is over. Oh, <laughs> um, well, we'll have plenty to eat. I mean, there's lots of berry pie and... And there's couches upstairs that they're selling, so we can always just, like, hang out up there and fall asleep when we need to. Well, um, uh, yeah, sure, I guess. It's kind of weird just being stuck in Target, just the two of us. Why? I think you're amazing, Molly. This could be a lot of fun. You do? Yeah. I mean, there's really nobody else in the world I'd rather be stuck in Target with. Oh. <laughs> That's a really nice of you to say. Um, uh, I'm comfortable now. I'm gonna go get a snack for us. Oh my gosh. I think Luke actually likes me. Oh god, this is so cool. And also crazy. And what am I gonna do? I'm stuck in Target with him until this storm is over and... And he likes me! Molly, are you okay? Yeah, uh, do you want strawberry pie or lemon? Strawberry, please. Mm. Hey, look, Molly. <laughs> you can adopt a pet rock from Target. Or you can get Halloween costumes. Or, um, you can eat strawberry pie. Yeah, that strawberry pie made me super full. Yeah, here, you can have some of this water box if you want. Seriously? They make water in boxes? <laughs> yeah, here at Target, I guess they do. <laughs> Do you want some? Uh, no, but I do think that I want to sit next to you. What? Yeah, do you mind? Um, no, I... I don't mind at all, actually. Molly, I have something I want to tell you. You do? What is it? <gasps> Molly, look deeply into my eyes when I say this. Please don't eat any burritos while we're here. Wait, what? Uh, that's what you had to say? Yes, you'll fart all night long and it'll smell terrible. And I have to be stuck at Target with you and... That's all you have to say to me? Um, well, uh, also, um, uh... Ah! Bye! What? I thought he was going to say he liked me, but he just ran away. Luke, you can't run too far. This is Target and we're stuck in it. Bye! Oh my god, he's just running away. He's running away from his problems right now. Look at him, he can't even run behind the counter because he doesn't work here. Luke, you can't run away from me! Molly, seriously, I don't want to tell you what I had to say. Go away! Luke, I know you're hiding behind that shrub. Come out of there! Okay, tell me what you have to say. I... I... I like you, okay? Uh, um, well, uh, I really, 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 uh, like you too. What are you two doing, Molly? Huh? What? Daisy, what are you doing here? How'd you get in? The door to Target opened? Hey, Molly, the storm is past, and Mom was wondering where you were. The storm? It, it didn't hit us? It only hit us a little bit. Now the storm is over, 
She was wondering where you are with the milk and eggs. Um, there are no mo more milk and eggs. We thought we were trapped in here for the night. No, no, no. Come on, Molly, let's go. Um, I'll be right there, Daisy. Molly, Mom's gonna be mad. Who we got? Uh, Luke, it was really nice being stuck in Target with you. Now, yeah, see you tomorrow, school. Bye. Luke, what? Luke. Molly, Molly, oh there you are. It's time for school. You don't want to miss the bus, do you? I don't know. I guess I don't really care. But Molly, they're having black and white pizza at school today. Oh, with the black pepperoni and the little cheesy crumbs that are all white. Ugh, but I just, I, I, I guess I'm just feeling really depressed. What? Why? Black and white Brookhaven is an amazing place to live. Yeah, but I just feel like there's something missing. <gasps> missing? Missing. Don't start sounding like one of those Blacksburg lovers. Yeah. Ugh, that game makes me sick. Well, I mean, Brookhaven is great and all, I guess, but don't you wish for more? Doesn't your heart just feel like something's empty inside of it? <laughs> Molly, you must have woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Now, what do you think of my black and white outfit? Isn't it adorable? It's just missing something. Food, Molly! I got this at Black and White Mall, and I think it's amazing. Now, if you miss the bus, it's your problem, Grumpy Pants. Something about Brookhaven is just, well, really sad. I can't put my finger on what it is. Blah, 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 blah. Molly, are you even listening to this math lesson? Molly! Huh? What? Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know what you were saying. All I heard was blah, 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 blah. Oh, my God. She's going to get detention again. I'm sorry, but, but your lesson is just so boring. Can't you put, like, a little color in it? <gasps> Did she just say the forbidden word? Molly, you said color. Molly, you know that's a swear word in Brookhaven High. Go to the principal right now. Ow. I, I don't understand what's so wrong with the word color. I mean, rainbows can make everything beautiful and, well, colorful. But it's a forbidden word here in Brookhaven. Everyone is just so boring. So black and white. Molly, I don't know what I'm going to do with you. As principal of black and white Brookhaven High, I have no choice. This is your third offense. You have out of school suspension. Take your backpack and head home. <gasps> what? Out of school suspension? I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Oh no. Oh no, my mom, she's she's gonna be so mad. She's gonna ground me for life. Oh no, what have I done? Oh, I just wanted some color in my life and and this is what I get for feeling anything but black and white. Oh no, oh no. I'm so tired of being black and white when there's so much color that could be seen. Rainbows and yellow sunshine, green grass, that is my dream. <gasps> Why does everything have to look like this? It makes my heart feel so sad. Living in a Brookhaven, black and white. Makes my heart feel blue. <gasps> Changing the world to see the colors starts with me and you. Whoa! Was that a shooting star? Oh, I need to make a wish. I wish, more than anything, 
Brookhaven could be colored. The next day. falling star. I dreamt that everything in Brookhaven had turned to color. Ugh, I better get up, brush my teeth, and go down wow. for some breakfast. Strangely, though, I don't feel as sad today. Ugh, I guess that's a good thing. I've learned to live in black and white Brookhaven. Ugh, just gotta turn on the water. Ugh, wake myself up. Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa. What's, what's going on with my hair? And my shirt and I have rainbow pants and rainbow shoes ah! okay I'm just dreaming this isn't happening this isn't happening wait a minute all of Brookhaven is in color look at the look at the grass it's green look at the sky it's blue look at the water it's blue look at the trees they're green look at the water oh the water is like this aqua blue oh look at that look at that umbrella down there it's red that's pink that's blue oh my god that sign is red oh I'm freaking out this is amazing and also scary. Why is this happening? Oh my god. Maybe Daisy's colored too. I'll have to go see if she's rainbow too. Oh. Um. She. <gasps> Daisy's so black and white. Why am I rainbow colored and Daisy is black and white? Oh my gosh. I'm going to be the freak of Brookhaven. Everyone's going to hate me for being different. I can't. I can't be. Okay. I know what I'll do. I'll just put on some of mom's so a black and white makeup. And then just dye my hair. And then and burn these rainbow clothes and everything will be fine, right? I hope, I hope. Uh, that's better. I'm back to black and white, but Brookhaven isn't. Well, yeah, but no one will know it was my fault that I wished on the falling star, that everything would be in color and that everything would be rainbow color. No one will know this is my fault, so they can't blame me. I'll just go sneak back into bed and pretend that none of this ever happened. <sighs> Good morning, Ma. What? what? Am I dreaming? What is up with all this? Oh, I can't say that word. What's happening? Molly, wake up. Wake up. Huh? What? What are you screaming about, Daisy? Why are you being so crazy? Look outside the window. Everything's in color. What? Did you just say the most forbidden word of Brookhaven? I can't help it, Molly. I don't know how to explain what's happening. Whoa. This is, um, uh, crazy. Ah! I don't know what to do, Molly. This can't be. Brookhaven was perfect black and white. Are you kidding me right now? How could you even say that? Brookhaven was boring and miserable. It made my heart black with its, with its lack of color. Molly, I can't believe you'd even say that. Well, I think everybody better start to learn how to say it. Because, because Brookhaven has gone rainbow. Yeah. We better get to school, Molly, and fast. Maybe our teacher will know what's happening. What's happening is the world is changing. People need to get with the program. Sarah, Sarah, I'm so glad you're here. I ran all the way to school this morning. Why are you talking to me, loser? Because I can't believe it. Brookhaven is in color. Why are you saying that word? Do you want us to get detention? Well, look around, Sarah. I mean, everything is actually, well, not black and white. All right, yeah, I'll give you that. I don't know what weirdness is going on here, but I want it black and white. And I want it black and white now. Well, I, I feel like maybe someone wished for this and, and that's why it's this way. Wait. You think someone wished this into existence? I think I know exactly who. You do? Is it a wizard? Who is it? Okay, class. Okay, let's let's stop the chitter chatter. I know everyone is so upset about black and white, about black and white Brookhaven, and and it not being black and white anymore. I mean, this is probably the saddest day ever. 
Look around. There's so much color. Oh, it pains me to say it. Ow. But I know that we as residents of Brookhaven can change things back to black and white if we really really want this and we really try with all of our hearts uh, mrs keller um I, I was just wondering if you might want to consider the thought that maybe brookhaven with some rainbow in it <gasps> is actually pretty nice i mean did you see the color of the trees or the sky or the grass or the water <laughs> now i know exactly who made that wish it was you, wasn't it? Hey, I don't know what you're talking about. What are you talking about? Let's just see what you have under all that makeup, shall we? That oh. Maddie! You made the wish! You you completely rainbow! Just like Brookhaven! Well, okay, but I I look! I made the wish! It's true, but look how beautiful Brookhaven is now. Look how beautiful my hair is and my clothes. Don't you want to be anything but black and white? You're so two-dimensional. <laughs> Molly, I thought we were friends, but now I don't know. You're a freak. What? Brookie, think about what you're saying. You don't fit in here, loser. You're banished from Brookhaven. Oxburg, where all the weirdos play. Oh my god. Brookhaven is so beautiful this way. Why wouldn't they want us to be rainbow? Why? <laughs> uh, is it morning already? <laughs> Good morning, Molly. Time to wake up. It's okay, Mom. I'm already sort of awake because I was like super hungry, so my stomach woke me up. <laughs> you have a stomach alarm clock, huh? Yeah. Sometimes it comes in handy, actually, because <laughs> I want to sleep through the alarm that wakes me up for school. But you can't sleep sleep through it being hungry. No, you really can't, Molly. Come on, let's go in the kitchen and we'll make some breakfast. Sounds good. My stomach's like grumbling. <laughs> Whoa! What are all these pumpkins for, Mom? Oh, I'm going to make a pumpkin pie and also an apple pie and ooh, leftover candy from Halloween. Um, Molly, Halloween was like two months ago. Yeah, and the candy doesn't go bad, Mom. <laughs> Molly, you can't have candy for breakfast. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Molly, why do you say it like that? Because, Daisy, I was like, good morning, annoying sister. Molly, don't be rude to your sister. Mom, can I have a banana or something? I'm so hungry. Yeah, you can have a banana because that's healthy, but then we're going to have a regular breakfast, not Halloween candy. <laughs> Maddie wanted to eat Halloween candy for her breakfast. She's so immature and irresponsible. What? No, I'm not, Mom! How come I can't say that she's, like, annoying, but she can say I'm irresponsible and immature? Girls, let's just try to get along and eat our pancakes in peace. Yeah, Daisy! Yeah, Molly! Girls! I don't want to have to ground you, okay? No, I don't want to be grounded. I don't want to be! I'm supposed to go to the water park this weekend. So hungry, so hungry. Here you go, Molly. Enjoy! Thanks, Mom! Oh, wow, this looks delicious. Mm. Mom, you make the best pancakes in the world. I'm gonna have some delicious tea. I'm gonna have delicious tea. Well, I'm gonna have lots and lots and lots! of pancakes. Mmm, these pancakes are good. Okay, girls, I want to talk to you about something. Ah, oh, finally, we're getting a puppy! No, we're not getting a puppy, Molly. What I want to tell you is I have to run errands most of the day and then I have a work meeting, so I have to leave someone in charge. <laughs> of course it's me, Mom. I'm the older one. Actually, Molly, it's going to be Daisy. You can't leave Daisy in charge of me. Molly, uh, I think she's kind of the mature one. What? No, she's not. Look at her. Look at her. She wears pigtails. So, Marty, even grown-ups wear pigtails. Yeah, Molly, sometimes they do. Oh, man, are you kidding me? That's why, Marty, I'm in charge. 
Okay, girls, try to get along while I'm gone, okay? See you later. Okay, Molly, you have to do everything I say. <laughs> That's a good one, Daisy. That's a good one. Oh, Molly, your room is smelly. And you didn't make your bed? Make a bed, Molly. Okay, I'll make my bed. Molly, all you're doing is jumping up and down. Whee! <laughs> Molly, why is it you're doing the opposite of what I say? Ah, uh, you're not the boss of me now. You're not the boss of me now. <laughs> Molly, I am the boss of you. Mom made me the boss. Now make your bed. Uh-huh, sure. And when you're done with that, do your homework. All right, I'll do my homework. Everything my sister says, I'm going to do the complete opposite. The brightly colored unicorn. The brightly colored unicorn. I love this show. Molly, are you doing your homework? No. Molly, you're supposed to do what I say. I'm in charge. Uh-huh, sure you are, but I'm not. I'm doing the opposite. Molly, you do not do the opposite. Did you make your bed? Molly, you didn't make your bed. Oh my god, you're the most terrible um, sister in the world. Yep, and I'm proud of it. <laughs> Molly, do your laundry right now. Okay, I'll do my laundry. Wow, she's actually listening. She's actually getting her laundry. Okay, I'm impressed, Molly. Molly, where are you going? The washer's not outside. Uh-huh, I know. <laughs> Molly, are you going to throw your clothes in the pool? Molly, you better not. <laughs> See you later, clothes. Molly! You're grounded. Go to your room. You're not the boss of me now. You're not the boss of me now. Molly, what are you doing? I was trying to lock you out, but you came in too quick. Seriously, Molly, you need to calm down. Now go and start your chores. Okay, Daisy. Okay, here's the mop and the broom. And I'm going to do the exact opposite. I'm just going to be lazy and relax. Ah, this is the life. Molly, are your chores done? No. Doing the exact opposite of what you say. Okay, you are doing the exact opposite of what I say, huh? Okay, noted. Um, please go swim in the pool. What? Swim in the pool? Uh, but that's fun. Yeah, I want you to have as much fun as you possibly can. Okay, fine. I guess I won't do it in the opposite. Whoa, baby Kira left all her toys all over the floor. <laughs> Watch this. Finally, you see things my way. Holy guacamole, this water's freezing. Daisy, what were you thinking? <laughs> now I want you to go inside and eat as much candy as you can. Ooh, I'm liking the sound of that. Mmm, this is good candy. Mm. Molly, why are you eating all that candy again? Uh, because you told me to. Keep eating, Molly, you're not done. Oh, it's a lot of candy, Daisy, it's a lot. Keep eating it, Molly, keep eating it. Oh, oh my stomach hurts so bad. Oh. <laughs> Molly, where you going? I gotta go throw up! Oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh. Molly, maybe you shouldn't do the opposite. You should just listen. I'm not doing the opposite. I'm doing exactly what you tell me now. Okay, okay, you're confusing me right now, Molly. But the point is, is that sometimes you should just listen to the mature and responsible sister. Okay, I'll listen to everything you say. As soon as I lay down for a while, because I ate way too much candy. See, if it was up to you, Molly, you would have done silly things the entire time. But I'm trying to tell you to do the right thing, and you're not even listening. Molly? Molly? Listen to me! Oh, brother. I can't be in charge of her. That's it! I quit! <laughs> now I can do whatever I want. Whenever I want. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Today we're going to be working.
working on some fractions. I know you guys are a little bit scared. Whoa, I can't write today. <laughs> I spelled it wrong. I know you guys are a little afraid of fractions. They seem really hard, but don't worry. I'm going to help you through it. And everyone will know how to do fractions by the end of the school year, okay? Too many cricket. What was that? Was that thunder? It's probably some freak storm and, you know, we are going to all be doomed. Wow, Molly, could you be any more dramatic? Well, no, not really. But anyway, I'm just kidding because I saw the weather and it's supposed to be like blue skies and sunny today. Well, maybe the weather people were wrong. They seem to never know what the weather's gonna be. Well, that's true. I don't know why there is lately. Are they letting every meteorologist pass college or something? Must be. But well, maybe it's just hard to guess. I don't know. Well, they have equipment to help them. I'm going to look outside and see if there's any storms going on. It looks like there's some dark clouds coming from over there, teacher. Maybe we should all have early dismissal. Nice try, Molly, but there's no early dismissal today. We're going to be learning about fractions. Now, the first thing you need to know... Um, I have a question. Um, it's starting to look really dark outside. I think we're going to get a storm. Uh, and it looks like an angry one. What? Oh, I... I didn't think we were supposed to get the storm that's that's hitting Blocksburg. They're getting a terrible, terrible hurricane. Oh my, this does look like the hurricane's actually going to hit us. Oh boy, I better get inside and check out the weather station and see what it says. Um, teacher, I, I really don't think it's a good idea we stay here. Well, if the hurricane's hitting, we can't leave either. It can be dangerous. The roads will be flooded for sure. Let me just tune into the weather station on my iPad. Breaking news, breaking news. The hurricane that hit Blocksburg is now hitting Brookhaven too. Stay put. I repeat, do not drive. Do not go outside your house. This hurricane is extremely dangerous. You should lock down exactly where you are. Oh my, this isn't good. Stuck in this school? Oh, we don't even have sleeping bags or pajamas or anything. Oh! notice our teacher is totally freaking out right now well molly in her defense hurricanes can be incredibly dangerous well i guess we're not learning about fractions today we're learning a lot about hurricanes though oh uh, molly i'm kind of nervous i don't like big storms well then why are you smiling um because i smile a lot when i'm nervous it's sort of this thing i have where i just i i i i, I also giggle a lot when i'm nervous <laughs> Whoa, I never knew about this about you, Brookie. But that's because you've never seen her this nervous. <laughs> We're all going to die in a hurricane. <laughs> oh, this is so lame. Brookie, are you okay? You have no face right now. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. That's why. O-M-G. Okay, Brookie's gone insane. Molly, maybe we should go outside and, you know, check and see if the weather's really bad. Okay, I'll be the one to do it because I'm the most brave. Here we go. Oh, the sky is red. Uh, I've never seen it do that before. Oh my God, this is creepy. Oh yeah, the rain is coming and the, and the wind. What? Did I just see lightning? Oh my gosh, I did just see lightning and now the sky is purple. I better get back inside. Daisy, what are you doing? I'm taking measurements. I've never seen a storm like this in my life. Like guacamole, Daisy. We better get inside. This is dangerous out here. Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. Why are you so tall all of a sudden? I had a growth spurt. <laughs> Why are you going to catch up? You seem so short lately. Holy moly. Um, teacher! Teacher! There's a lot of lightning, a lot of rain, a lot of wind, and the sky is purple and red. Oh my gosh! <laughs> we really are going to die! Nobody panic. Nobody panic. I don't think it's safe for us to be near these windows, though. We're all going to move into the gym since it's more centrally located inside the school. And we'll start setting up to spend the night there. Um, is there anything to eat? Because I'm starting to get hungry. Yes, I'll go to the cafeteria and pick up some supplies. You guys head to the gym and I'll meet you there. On second thought, look at all these windows to the outside. This is probably more dangerous than I thought. 
Are you like trained at all for disasters? OMG. Yes, I'm just a little bit nervous, okay? This is my first year as a teacher and I didn't expect to be stuck in a hurricane. It's okay. Um, just, just, um, basically take us to the auditorium and everything will be okay because there's no windows in there. Oh, Daisy, what would I do without you? You're the best student ever. Come on, everyone, to the auditorium. Okay, everyone file in, please. Single file, no pushing. I'm just going to pull up the weather channel again and see if there's any updates. Breaking news, breaking news. Everyone, panic! This is the worst hurricane Brookhaven has ever seen! Everything's flooded. Oh, make sure you get to high ground, but stay inside. Make sure you have enough food, but don't go to the grocery store. Make sure you get enough sleep and take care of yourself, but don't close your eyes. You never know what's going to happen next. Okay, we're turning off the iPad. That's just freaking me out. All right, everyone. I did find some uh, sleeping bags in the supply room. Must be they were there for emergencies. So I'm going to spread everyone's sleeping bag out up here on the stage. And this will be where we sleep tonight. And I also brought some snacks. Brookie, are you still freaking out? I'm, I'm sort of hyperventilating. Brookie, it's going to be okay. Everyone's safe. Just think of this as a really interesting sleepover. I mean, we had to invite, invite Sarah, but you know. Whatever. Like I'd ever come to a loser sleepover anyway. Well, Sarah, we'd probably invite you, even if you didn't want to come, just because we're nice like that. Well, I'm not nice like that, and I probably wouldn't come. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it! And we're in a hurricane! Yeah, but we're also having an amazing sleepover. According to this little instrument that I found in the science room that's supposed to measure the weather, but I'm not a meteorologist, so I don't know what it's called. What? You don't know what it's called? Daisy, I can't even believe this right now. Uh, yeah, I feel a little, um sad in myself that I don't know what this meteorologist equipment is. I'll, I'll make notes and have to look this up when I get home. But anyway, according to that, the worst of the storm is happening right now. Ah, you could say that. There are actually some windows backstage and I did see some lightning. What? The teacher told us that, 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 that there was no windows in here. Well, it's the spot that's the least windows, Bookie, and the most protected. Don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. I don't believe you. I'm starting to freak out, and now I really just want to cry. Bookie, I promise everything's going to be okay. Your best friend is right here. Okay, everybody, I brought some food. Bean burritos, tacos. Do you guys like Mexican food? Oh, my gosh. I love Mexican food. Oh, no. It's going to be terrible. What, the storm? No, you, after you eat that bean burrito. Oh, yeah. We don't want to feed Molly a bean burrito. Too late. Mm, this is actually quite delicious. Mm, this is so good. <coughs> oh, my God. Molly's farting already. She just took the first bite of a bean burrito. <coughs> Uh, I think I'd rather be out in the hurricane. What? It's not that bad. <coughs> Molly, you fought it ten times in the last five seconds. <coughs> Ew, Molly! That stinks so bad. Where's my gas mask? <laughs> I think there's an emergency in the gym. I mean, in the auditorium. Wait, where are we again? Brookie, you're still freaking out right now. It's gonna be okay, Brookie, I promise. And I have an extra bean burrito that I'm gonna eat. <coughs> Molly, please don't. <coughs> Molly! No more bean burritos for Molly. She's sworn to not eat anymore. Okay, class. I want everyone to get into their sleeping bags. Molly, no more bean burritos. Seriously. We all have to actually sleep in here. <laughs> Can't believe we're sleeping in the auditorium at school. This is so weird. Yeah, but I think the storm is starting to pass now. I think you're right, class, but I think you should stay here for the night just to be safe. <sighs> I'm getting tired anyway. This was kind of stressful. I know what you mean. <laughs> this dress makes me laugh. Did I tell you that yet? Yes, like so many times. You're so annoying. I know. I'm sorry. I just can't help it. Sarah, she's not annoying. She's my best friend and she can't help it. She's just scared. Yeah, I think we all will. But in the morning, we'll go home and hopefully everything will be fine. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully.